Hi there, I'm Mr. Sauer. I hope you're enjoying your spring break, and I just wanted to wish everyone a happy March. So, many of you have been wondering, I didn't think I was ever going to have to teach this, but many of you are wondering, how do I make my gum art? And for those of you who do not know what my gum art is, in the back behind me, I have some flowers. Those are made out of chewed gum, and only chewed gum. Now, they're a little blurry from this camera, but I have one closer up I can show you. Here's one right here. This is all made out of chewed gum. And today I'm going to show you how to make a piece of art out of chewed gum. The first thing you'll need is either a canvas, a piece of paper, or even a piece of cardboard. Now, many of you may not be able to get those materials right now, but what you could do is get maybe like a TV dinner or a box of cereal. You can cut up some of that and make your canvas. This could be your canvas. Any material can work. You gotta be creative. Anything you can make out of art as long as you can think it up. So if you have any cereal boxes that are empty or some TV dinners that have been used up, just cut up a square or a rectangle or a circle, whatever shape you want, and go from there. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pick what you want to make out of chewed gum. I do flowers, and I do flowers because in real life you can smell flowers. Well with this chewed gum, you can actually smell the pieces in real life too. So not only do you get a two-dimensional experience, you get a 3D and a 4D experience as well because these also kind of pop out of the pictures. So they're not just flat, they also have a little bit three dimension to them as well. I will use a pencil, you can use a marker, you can use anything, but all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a flower on my board and I'm going to do this pretty quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can get reference photos from online if you go online. You can get some reference photos. You can look in books. You can look at family pictures. That is up to you. You don't always have to have a reference though either. That is up to you if you want one or not. But I am just going to quickly draw my flower. Once I have my flower, then the fun part. Once you have everything drawn out, you are going to start chewing your pieces of gum. And what you will do, so there's my flower, it's kind of hard to see, but that is my flower. That's been done really quickly. You gotta chew some gum now. Any brand of gum will do, but when you buy gum from the store, each piece of gum is a different color. So if you buy this extra peppermint, the color of the gum is blue. If you buy juicy fruit, the color of the gum is yellow. If you buy any cinnamon flavored gum, that is going to be red, okay? And you can get green, you can get orange, you can get pink, you can get all the other colors, but it depends on the brand of gum. And usually the packaging is what the color of the gum is going to be. Now we're going to focus on, before I show you the chewing, I want to ask you, what are the primary colors? Say those right now. What are the primary colors? They are red. They are yellow and they are blue. The primary colors are the colors that you cannot make. Okay, The primary colors are the colors that you use to make other colors. What do you think blue and yellow make? They make green. What do you think red and yellow make together if you were to mix them? They are orange. And what do you think red and blue, if you mix them together, would make? Violet. Yes, violet or purple, depending on how you say it. Now, I am going to do something 
to make a different color. None of those colors. I'm not going to make any of those colors. I am going to make a color, but I want you to guess what that color might be. I'm going to take my blue piece of gum. I'm going to take my yellow piece of gum, if I can get it out. I'm going to take my yellow piece of gum. I got my yellow, and I'm going to take my red piece of gum. Okay. So those are the primary colors. What do you think, if I were to mix all of these colors together, what color do you think I'm going to get? I want you to think about that. What color do you think I'm going to get when I mix these three pieces of gum? Okay. So now it's the fun part. You get to chew the gum. As you chew, you want to use as much saliva, I know this sounds nasty, but you want to use as much saliva as you can because the saliva is the glue. You can't just use regular water, you can't use glue, the saliva is the glue and that's what's going to stick, help stick the gum onto your drawing, okay? So about 30 seconds or until it's really mixed together. I'm mixing these three flavors together to create a new color. And you can do this too. You can mix different colors together to get different colors. And you can do that just mixing the gum in your mouth. So I'm almost done. pretty close. I still had a little few colors left. As I'm chewing this, many of you may know, but I actually have a piece of gum art in the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in South Carolina. Now, if you don't know what Ripley's Believe It or Not is, it is a company that showcases weird and not normal things to people. And they have a big collection of different things that are just weird, unique, and different. And when I was a kid, I always read these Ripley's Believe It or Not books. And they're so much fun to look at. If you do have one, or if you're interested in something to get, or if you want to look at it, these are my all-time favorite books because they inspired me to do my gum art. I always wanted, ever since I was a little kid, to do something for Ripley's Believe It or Not. And I was able to. I was able to make my gum art. They saw it. They bought a piece from me. And now I have a piece in the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in South Carolina. So my goal in the future is to go actually see my piece in person. That's my goal. But if you work hard for something, no matter how long it takes, and right now, this is the time, if there's something that you want, this is the time, because you have plenty of time now, to work for that. And this was always something that I've worked for my entire life, and I was able to achieve that. And It's always fun when you work hard for something, and at the end, you get what you wanted because you worked so hard. So really, maybe think about something that you want to do, that you want to achieve in the future and start working on that right now because this is your opportunity to do that. But my all-time favorite book from my childhood. Okay, so now I have my gum. This is what happened when I mixed red, yellow, and blue. The primary colors. It's kind of a reddish brown color. Sometimes red is a little bit strong, but if I was to mix this a little bit more, if I added a little bit more blue to this, it would actually become brown. 
So let's say I fully mixed it. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to pick a spot. I'm just going to do it for the background. And you're just going to smear that piece on with your fingers, okay? You want to make it nice and flat. Or you can make it bumpy. That's up to you. If you want to have texture, which if you know what texture is, it's something that you can feel. If you want it to feel bumpy, then you can leave bumps. If you want it to feel smooth, then you can smooth it out. But that's up to you on what you want to do. Okay. So I have my piece on and it's going to stick. It's not going to fall off because the saliva is the glue holding on to whatever material you choose for your drawing. Okay. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want you during this time off to make something unique, something different, something that maybe someone has never come up with before. It doesn't have to be gum art. It doesn't have to be what I do, but it can be something that you come up with. Maybe you make some art out of food. Maybe you make art out of garbage. Maybe you make art finding objects throughout your house and putting them together to make an art piece. Have fun with it. Be creative. If you can go outside, go outside. Maybe you can make art with what we have outside. Rocks work really well. Dried up leaves, branches. There's so many things that you can make out of art. Anything. So this is the time to really go out there and look and to make something fun, you know? We're always painting, we're always drawing, we're making clay work, but make something that we normally don't make, or make something that most people don't make, or maybe something that no one's ever made before. Be that innovator, be that person who comes up with something new, because one day you might be recognized for that.